Hello folks, the Colorado Whiskey Guy here. Judging by my clothes, is it game day? Nope, I have a special release. So hold on and we'll try it out together. As you guessed, it's not game day, but I have a special release bourbon here. I have the Breckenridge Distillery Champions Blend. Came out, special release for the Broncos. Breckenridge Distillery, home to Breckenridge Bourbon Whiskey, has partnered with the Denver Broncos to create their limited release Champions Blend Bourbon. Former Broncos Jake Plummer and Reggie Rivers worked with Breckenridge Distillery to create an orange blend and blue blend. This friendly competition marks the first time the Denver Broncos have created their own official bourbon with Breckenridge Distillery. Today, I will be trying the blue blend of the Champions Blend. So let's take a look. All right. So we'll try them out. Now, Breckenridge Distillery has gotten some heat in the past couple of years because they make their own bourbon, but they also source from Indiana, Tennessee, and Kentucky. But for a while, they didn't tell anybody where they got it from. So a lot of people didn't like that. I'm all about truth and letting us know that where you source it from. I'm okay with sourcing. Just let me know where you got it from. I'm fine with that. For now, we got these. So here's the Broncos edition, the blue edition, Breckenridge Bourbon. So I kind of smell some, some holiday off. It says holiday spice in what they say, but I just call it like a baking spice, like I don't know, cinnamon or something like that um, is the first thing that gets me. But then it's kind of a vanilla with some kind of fruit, whether it be pear or apple or something like that, um, just kind of right there. It's very easy, very gentle. It's not. A, it's a 43% uh, ABV, so 86 proof. So it's not that high of a proof. But it smells very delightful. Let's see. It goes down real smooth. I mean, it, it doesn't have that real big bite. Not very peppery. Breckenridge always advertises as a high rye bourbon, and which means that after corn, rye is the next major grain that they use. So, but it's not, I mean, I, it tastes a little bit of that spice that I was talking about before, but it does not like spicy. It's not peppery or anything like that. It's very easy, very easy sipping and very good. So let's compare it with the standard Breckenridge. This one's sweeter. It's lighter. So the Broncos version, it's more, it's more autumn-like for me. It's more autumnal. There's a good word. Um, it's kind of spicy. It's kind of a little heavier. This one's, this one's lighter. More basic vanilla. I can't identify too much beyond that. Let's try the taste and see how it's different. The basic Breckenridge bourbon is more vanilla. It's more straight and narrow. It's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. There's a, a couple flavors there and there. It's not just one note. It's a little vanilla, a little, a little caramel. It's not complex though. It's an easy sip. Now, it's really delightful, it's really good. I'm really liking it. And I can see why this is really good. But with the Broncos, the blue is a little bit more complex to me, a little bit more interesting than the basic Breckenridge. So I kind of like it better. Uh, it's, I'm intrigued to know what the orange uh, blend tastes like. It's more interesting than your basic uh, Breckenridge bourbon, but right around the same price point. So, personally, if I were to make a recommendation, I would say this one would be a little bit more interesting. If you're into whiskeys and bourbons and you like it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more flavorful, try it out. If you are not really into too many different whiskeys, but you're curious, try the basic blend. It's basic, it's straightforward, it's not too complex, but it's a very easy sipper. So you can try it, try it over ice first, see what you think. But 
I think that's it for me for today. I hope you liked it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead, right down there. It's free. Like and subscribe. Let me know, comment on the bottom. What do you think? Do you like the blue, the blue blend, the orange blend? What do you think? Or have you tried them? So until the next time, I'll see you around. Cheers.